Welcome to UNV training about video wall configuration on EasyStation. This is EasyStation client software. With video wall function, videos can be displayed on multiple physical displays, such as LCDs, LEDs, or monitors. These displays will be combined together to present videos with different operations, including screen split, screen splicing, video roaming, or picture in picture. Let's click video wall function on the control panel. First, we will show you how to create a video wall and set a scene. Before creating, please remember to add cameras and a decoder first in device management. There are two options in this drop down list. Add DX video wall means the video wall will be created with a decoding device. The other one means the video wall will be created with a decoding card on an NVR. As we've added a decoder earlier, here we select DX video wall. Enter a video wall name in the field. And select a decoding device to create the video wall. Then we edit the video wall size. Let's say we will display with four screens in two rows. Then we set it two times two. After that we choose a resolution. For the AutoBind Output Channel checkbox, we have to enable it if we need functions such as roaming or picture-in-picture. -picture. Let's click OK to apply. On the left side menu, we click on the Video Channel tab. Here we can customize a window layout and put videos into these windows. Now we will show you how to use it. Here, this screen toolbar is effective for all windows on the video wall. Let's look at the third icon first. We can choose from these default window layouts. Or customize one. Now we will display camera videos on these windows. We can drag a camera directly to a window. For multiple cameras, we select cameras and a window, and then click this icon to play on video wall. We have to choose a stream type. Then videos will be displayed on these windows one by one. Now we've got a scene. It will be played on the two times two displays connected to the decoder. We can right click and have a preview of current camera. For other icons, the first one is to save this current scene for further use. The second one, audio management, we can choose to play an audio. Window management gives us an option to create a new window by inputting its coordinates, window width, and height. In addition, there is another option to create a new window. Drag this blank window to another place. Right-click and drag in this blank area to create a new window. We can drag this new window to anywhere on the screen as well as change its size. These windows can be overlaid, which is called picture-in-picture. This is to close all the windows. The next is to lock position and shape of all windows. There will be a lock icon on the top right corner of each window. We will click the next button to unlock. The following two are to start or stop decoding of all windows on the physical displays. The last one is to renumber all windows according to their positions. From top to bottom from left to right. The window numbers are displayed in each window's top left corner. As we can see the numbers are changed.
This toolbar is for the window we selected. For current window, we can split it into smaller windows. Now the current window has been split into four smaller windows. Then start or stop decoding. This is to set audio output. When we select a window and click this button, the window will be placed on the top of all windows. Click the other one, the window will be set to the bottom. The next one is to lock position and shape of current window. The last one is to maximize the window on the display. When we click playback, the playback window will pop up where we can search recordings and show them on the display. Please notice that only IPCs managed by NVR can be searched. Select a date from this calendar. And then click start to play. The recording will be shown here. We can drag this timeline to view the recording from specific time. Now we close this window. When we right click on a selected window, there will be a menu. If we want to watch alarm triggered live video, set it as an alarming window. Make sure alarm triggered live video is configured in alarm configuration. There will be an alarm icon on the top left corner. To cancel the settings, right click and cancel it. Only one window can be set as the alarming window. If you want to display a scrolling slogan such as welcome on the big screen, click virtual LED. Let's follow the words here. Right click and drag to create a virtual LED window. A configuration window will pop up. Here in the content field we edit the text that will be shown on the screen. Choose a scrolling mode and make other settings. OK, done. The scrolling slogan in videos will be shown on the physical display. And then we will talk about operations including sequence resource and scene sequence. We've already created a video wall and set a scene. If you want to display a group of videos in one window, click on sequence resource tab and then create a sequence. Type a name in the field. Select video channels as needed. Then click this arrow button. Selected cameras will be listed on the right side. We can adjust the sequence by clicking these up and down buttons. And then set sequence interval. The minimum interval is 10 seconds. Click OK to apply the settings. Then we drag this sequence to a window of this layout. This window will show video sequence we just set on the video wall. Now we click to save the changes. Then we'll talk about scene and scene sequence. Scene refers to video wall settings including screen layout, videos, or video sequence. It allows you to quickly reopen the scene you saved. Scene sequence is to display different scenes in a sequence with a specified interval. Under Scene tab, this is the scene we just saved. We can also create a new one. Input a name in the field. Then we will customize a new scene with the procedures that we've shown you before. Select a window layout. Drag cameras to these windows. And save it as scene 2. Now we've got two scenes. These scenes will be presented in a sequence on the screen one by one. The steps are quite similar to creating a sequence resource. Enter a name. 
select scenes, and set interval with a minimum of 30 seconds. In addition, Easy Station supports 24 hour plan. Enable the plan and then set starting time of each scene, which must be different. Then the scenes will be automatically displayed on the video wall at the set time. You may add scenes repeatedly as needed. And lastly, after all the settings, let's click on the screen control tab where you can turn on or off screens. Before you operate on the client, make sure the screen, the power distribution box, and the server are properly connected. First we configure the serial port and protocol in accordance with the decoding device model and screen type. Then we can set time to turn on or off the screen automatically. Of course it is allowed to turn on or off the screen immediately when we click turn on or off screen buttons. There is another option. We can set time to turn off the screen with a delay. That's all for video wall configurations on EasyStation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.